I've done pottery for 30 years. The work you see on the shelves at Adam Scoggin's studio in Cheney is decades in the making. What began as part-time pottery is now a business. My income is respectable. Since 1993, Adam's made a living turning clay into all sorts of creations, from his signature herons to his popular plates. His work is heavily influenced by nature. Leaves, fish, birds, carved and painted with care on each piece of pottery. Adam works on one series at a time, turning out stacks of plates one day, pitchers the next. No piece is ever the same. I will throw a, a series, like if I'm doing mugs, you know, uh, the first one's okay and, uh, you know, the sixth one is okay, but the thirteenth one is great. So there's something that accumulates, even though I know how to do it. There's a facility that happens when you when I do a series. His work takes shape at the potter's wheel, but the final touch, the defining step, is the searing heat of the kiln. Twice it is fired at temperatures topping 2,300 degrees, a blast of heat so intense it turns the glaze to glass and brings the dull painted images to life. A lot of serendipity. I can predict because of my test tiles because of my clays being stable now. After years of mixing color, Adam never really knows what will emerge. There's always things that the fire has to say about the firing that you don't control. Which makes the moments he and wife Kathy open the kiln a complete surprise. Kathy and I will ooh and ah as we take the pieces out of the kiln and it's very exciting to see the results that we got with our latest firing. Sometimes it's a gem, and sometimes... But ugly. Which leaves Adam with no choice. Take the hammer to it. Don't let it live. People will judge you by those pieces that they see. So I've gotten better. I've gotten better at getting rid of those but ugly ones. Still, you get the sense this artist doesn't really care what other people think. Sometimes things just surprise and please me. And you know, some of those that surprise and please me don't sell. And I don't care. I put a high price on them because they surprise and please me. Adam sells his work at a handful of shows a year. Day to day, you'll find it at Pottery Place Plus in downtown Spokane. But if you see something you like, you better buy it. In a year, it'd be different. It keeps, it keeps evolving and changing. For 30 years, Adam's been honing his craft, always leaning toward the traditional. Classical as opposed to contemporary. I don't care a thing about the stuff I see on the cover of Ceramics Monthly. Decades later, this one-time preacher, teacher, and drug counselor still goes back to what his first instructor taught him. What my teacher gave me was a desire to attain a high aesthetic standard. And most of the time I don't do it, but I'm always shooting for it. It's the flattest learning curve I've ever been on. My pots get a little bit better very slowly. But I don't give up because I have this vision of making beauty, of making art. I'm not just making pots. I'm not just making what other people make. I'm, I'm, I have a vision to make something very aesthetic and very beautiful. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV. 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.